Well, there's something different for a meal or a get-together. This is twisty bread. Obviously, because it's all twisty. So let's make it, shall we? And we're actually going to make the dough first. To make the bread, to make the twisty. So into a bowl goes one cup and two-thirds flour. Teaspoon of salt. We'll mix that together. Now this is three quarter cup of milk, which I put in the microwave to warm up a little bit. You want it warm, you don't want it cold. The yeast won't activate. And there's the yeast right there. That's one and three quarter teaspoon of yummy yeast. We'll mix all that together. So we're going to mix all this dough up, well, all this flour up until we get a nice dough ball. And at this point, I realized I forgot the butter. There was four tablespoons of melted butter supposed to go in this. Well, hopefully I can make it work out and since I've already done this, I know it'll work out. My guess is it's just not going to be as tasty as it would with the butter. But anyway, it's mixed up. So we're going to cover up the, the uh, dough ball. We're going to set it aside for an hour. Ta-da. And look at that. It's risen a little bit. Not huge. But that's okay. We can work with it. I got some extra flour because we got to roll this out. <laughs> okay, it's kind of stuck to the bowl, but we'll pull it, and come on, uh, come on, come on, there, we got her out of the bowl, I'm going to have to throw some flour in it, just so that we can work with it, so it's not too, too sticky, so I've got a pastry blade, I'm going to cut this into four equal pieces. Now we're going to kind of roll out. I hate rolling. I'm not very good using a rolling pin. But we can manage. You want to roll it out in a kind of a, a rectangle-y, about the same size. Each of those pieces you want about the same. So I'm trying to be really fussy and get them as, as straight as I can. It's not going to work. I just I can't do it like they do it in the pictures. So I'm going to get it as close as I can. If we have to trim some at the end, we will. So I'm just making sure that I've rolled it out to roughly the same size. So here's our bottom roll of dough, and we're going to take some butter, because that's our glue, and butter up the bottom. And now for some cheese. This is just regular old-fashioned cheddar cheese. And we're going to probably use close to a cup by the time we're done. Keeping the edges clear. And that is parsley. I didn't have any fresh, so I just went to the cupboard. Second piece of dough over top. And try to get the edges as close to together as you can. Lightly press them down. Because we're going to bring out a rolling pin to flatten it a bit. I'm not so sure about this part, but that's what the recipe says. So I'm just going to be careful. Come on. Come on. So it's flattened. There you go. See, it's flattened a bit. I think that's a little better. 
And now watch what we do. We're going to cut this into one inch strips. This is how we're going to build the twisty part. So you may have to modify it a little bit because you want eight strips. Now we're going to butter the top of just every other one. And you'll see why in a minute. That's kind of the glue for the second piece of dough. We're going to take, come on, <laughs> make sure I actually cut it and they're going to pull apart. Well, then I decided maybe I better make sure they're all pulled apart. I thought I cut them so they were separated, but I guess not. So check that before you start doing it. So the one with the, the butter goes on the bottom and then we're going to put an extra piece on top. Now see right here. I've got a bamboo skewer because you got to make kind of a dent in the middle so that you know where your your middle uh, part is. So I rock it back and forth. Now I'm more worried about all the cheese coming out, but you know once you do it, it's not that bad. You just got to get her started, and you're going to kind of twisty it up. That's the name of twisty bread. Now towards the end, it got a little goofy, but I get the general idea, you twist and twist and twist. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like that. It's not going to look perfect. There, see, I guess if I was doing 500 of them, I'd get really, really good at it. But since I was only doing eight, yeah, it still worked. And you can see it's not a perfect twisty, but it still looks pretty cool. And I get it when it bakes what it's going to look like. So on to our baking sheet with parchment paper of course we're going to carefully transfer them from the cutting board onto our baking sheet and go do the other two pieces same thing dough cheese parsley and the second layer on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. And there's our twisties. So there we go. That's all eight of them ready to roll. And now we've got to put a little bit of egg wash on each of them just to kind of brown them up a little bit. So I can see what this is going to look like once it bakes and it gets all nice and brown. It should look really cool. And taste-wise, come on, it's cheesy bread. How can that be bad? There. We've washed all the dough with egg. Let's get it in the oven. 350 degrees. 25 minutes should do and when they're done look at they come out nice and twisty and golden that looks really cool so they are a good size I decided I'm going to cut them in half and that looks like about a nice piece for an appetizer or a side dish Look at that. There we go. Twisty bread. Now we got to try it. It's nice and cooked. Yummy. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.